Hey Glorati and welcome back to my channel. Today we are unboxing this sample it box. Which, before you get any ideas, no, it is not another subscription box. So maybe I may have already unboxed it. I can't help it. This adorable little two-year-old running around my apartment kept wanting to open it. And to be honest, I did too. So you're wondering, what is it? Samples. So how do you get these samples? They're not mailed to you. What is this? Well, some of you may have already noticed the little automated kiosk where you buy these samples at your local drugstore, grocery store, or mass retailing store. I'm saying Walmart because that's the only place around here that actually has these kiosks. Where's my nearest kiosk? Because I gotta check this out. Well, you can go to sampleit.com. However, if you are an iOS user, meaning you have like an iPhone or an iPad, you can get the Sample It app. And don't worry if you're an Android user because your app is coming soon. Unfortunately, you'll just have to use the website until then. So I love samples, especially now that I'm getting into beauty blogging. I try to try as many things that I possibly can, but of course you don't want to go buy a whole thing just to try it, you might end up allergic like I did to the eyeliner I bought for my video. And each sample is only a dollar. Let's just actually get into what I got. I'm rambling on and not even showing you what was in the bags. And laying right on top was this very, very cool sample it t-shirt. The back says, try it, love it, buy it. The first thing that Michael and I opened was this adorable pink bottle of Nicole OPI nail polish. I wish I knew what color this is to tell you. It's actually what I'm wearing today and I got two of them. I may have to give one to my mom because she loves miniature things and she loves the color pink. I know. Who would have expected that? And just to let you know, I love nail polish. I have yet, until now, to try OPI because it's a little bit pricey. But this is a really cool way to see if this formula or this color is something that's worth investing in. Next product is something that addresses an issue I did not realize could be solved, but now I know. Apparently I can now combat the eight signs of aging hair with the Nexus Youth Renewal Rejuvenating Elixir, which could be volume loss, breakage, less shine, toughness, dryness, bitterness, brittle, brittle, brittleness, <laughs> unruliness, and loss of color vibrancy. We'll see if this works, and I'm actually interested in trying this. Very, very cool. Apparently you can get samples of John Frieda's Full Repair Full Body Shampoo. I do a lot of heat damage when I style my hair, and I color it. I'm very, very curious as to what this can offer in terms of helping it from that damage because I haven't found a better way to style it or take care of it. So it's gonna keep getting some heat. Conditioner. One is from Neutrogena and one is from Clear. And actually, I am very curious about both of them. I'm a huge Neutrogena fan, even though I've shied away from it recently with my beauty products, but I love Neutrogena and I may have to go back to them, actually, just to be honest for a second. But this is the Professional Triple Repair Fortifying Conditioner and it's supposed to mend, split ends, strengthen brittle hair, and protect from breakage. I've also been really, really curious about this clear scalp and hair therapy. It's total care nourishing daily conditioner. Feed scalp stronger, more beautiful hair in seven days. I don't, it all just smells like conditioner, like clean, good hair smells. I don't know. I'm the most terrible person at telling you what this smells like. But the good thing is that if you really want to know what it smells like, you can go get it for a dollar at the sample at kiosk. I'm not trying to be pushy. I'm just saying like it's a really cool idea. The next item is actually a body wash. It's one that I've been kind of interested in trying just because sometimes the skin on our body is not the most perfectly clear thing in the world, no matter what we do sometimes. Clean and clear body morning burst body wash. It's a Boost of mango and papaya. I see that does smell like mango and papaya. I don't know if it's because they told me it smells like mango and papaya, but it smells like mango and papaya. And it smells so delicious. Maybe I'll save this for my morning showers and that way it gives me a burst of energy in the morning and I don't want to take a nap with Michael every day. I will at last. We'll see. Well, if you're not impressed yet, but you're a beauty and fashion lover like me, then the next few things may get you thinking, hmm, this is something I should check out. Cosmetics are something you can sample. But one of the samples I got to try today is this Neutrogena, uh, I like Neutrogena, Moisture Shine Gloss in Plum. This is what it looks like, and if you can't tell, I'll post a picture on my Instagram later. Just saying. I'm not a gloss person. Really, it's the texture and stickiness of a lip gloss that I either love or hate. The fact that I get to try this is really cool. And while this still leaves like a thick coat on your lips, it actually feels like it moisturizes rather than just being a sticky glob on my lips. Even if you want just like a travel friendly thing to stick in your purse because you don't want to carry all the full sizes. Travel friendly, my dear, travel friendly. Just popped into my head. You're welcome. Aside from the cosmetics, the next two things are things that I'm just like, yes, trying this is definitely worth my dollar. You may not want to hit the mall just to find the perfume store or Sephora or Macy's. You may just want to chill at your Walmart where you already have to go to get groceries. Usually at my Walmart, if you do want to try something, 
it's kind of like a scratch and sniff kind of thing. I don't think that's really that effective for a perfume, a real legit perfume. This isn't a fruity sticker. The fact that you can go buy a sample of it for a dollar versus even just a small bottle, which are what, 10, 15 dollars? I don't know. I don't really look at them because I can't smell them. Makes the possibility of me buying a perfume much, much bigger. So I did get perfume and I got Beyonce's Rise and Beyonce's Pulse, which I'm pretty excited about. I don't know, I think perfumes, I forget Beyonce has some, even though everyone who's someone has some. And we all know Beyonce is someone. I'm already well aware that I'm so terrible at describing scents that I went on Beyonce's site to tell you what this is supposed to smell like. So this Beyonce Rise is supposed to have a lot of orchid, which is apparently Beyonce's favorite flower, and golden apricot. It's supposed to make a bold statement that's also playful. It smells really good. Like, I don't think this is quite my scent, but it smells really nice. I don't even know how much the full size thing is, but for a dollar to be able to try it, or maybe you just want to wear a different scent for a night. Or even if you're traveling, so you don't have to take your whole bottle. And we also have Beyonce's Pulse. So this is supposed to be symbolic of Beyonce's energy and vivaciousness. It has like citrusy and floral scents. Of course, orchid is in here. So I like the way it comes in this thing, just so that if you do want to travel, you don't have to really worry about or the cap getting knocked off or anything. It has like little holes up top. So you let's put it right here. You can definitely smell the citrus. Really light, very citrusy, like it said. It's a very appealing scent, but it's just not me. I'm not a huge fruity, citrusy type of person. I mean, it's a nice scent, it's just not my scent. Definitely worth a try. If you, Glitterati, are interested in any of the products that I have here and you want to kind of know what I think of them, be sure to let me know in the comments below and I'll let you know how it goes. Or you could just go to Sample It kiosk and get one for a dollar. So what do you guys think about it? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you think it's silly? Do you think it's like great? I like it. I mean, I may have like one little critique and it's one thing that I just, I really can't hold against them because they're a new company. Hopefully this will change the thing that I dislike. I wish they had more cosmetics because I would love to be able to just go grab something for a dollar instead of having to buy it, go home, try it, take it back, see if I can figure it out. That would be awesome. So hopefully, because this is more drugstore, more drugstore brands get on board with that. Come on guys, this is awesome. Thank you Christy for sending me all these samples and letting me know about all this really cool stuff. Go check out those kiosks and if you do happen to go and you post a picture on Instagram, tag me in it at Photo Missy. I want to see it. I'm being nosy. I want to know. Tell me everything. Hopefully I'll see you on Instagram soon. I will definitely see you in the next video. Hopefully it will be my eyeliner video. I don't know. We'll see. No promises. Hopefully you people, wonderful, glamorous people, the Glitterati, appreciated this video. And if you like it, give it a thumbs up. I'll try to see if I can find you more stuff like this. This is exciting to talk about and tell you about because I feel like it's really, really helpful. That's what we do here at the Glitterati. We help each other try to be just a little more glam with as little effort as possible. And I think this is a great way to do that. And don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss any more glamorous gems coming to my channel in the future. Everything important will be in the info box below. Bye. Where's that? You're showing it to the camera. Look at you. You already got it down, don't you? Is that Michael's? Is this Michael's? Yeah. Are you sure you need this?